Hello, today we will learn how to play YouTube videos on this development board. No, we will not. <laughs> this is not real YouTube player and this is not real video. Animation is better word for this. This is simple sketch every 50 50 milliseconds a new image is shown here every seconds we have 20 different images so 20 frames per second and there is only 95 images so my whole video is around 5 seconds long uh, very often I uh, get requests to make a video player or to make YouTube player using ESP32 for now I'm not sure if that is even possible. If you know how to make video player please leave a comment. In this video I wanted to talk a little about memory. I wanted to show you how I uh, made this, what I tried, to share this code with you so you can fool your wife, kids or parents. In this case, images are stored in built-in memory of this T-Display S3 board. There are some losses in details and uh, colors you can see on this dark mouth robe here. Uh, losses are a result of conversion. It is not easy to convert full HD video to 180 by by 8080 video. Yes, resolution of this animation is 188 by 88. So with images small like that, I was able to show only 5 seconds of video. Memory is always problem if you want to store large amount of pictures or images. Uh, this display uses RGB 565 system and for each pixel we need 2 bytes. Keep in mind that libraries in this case TFT SPI also need space in memory. What I did here is uh, very simple. I download YouTube video and I took first 5 seconds. Then I converted it to smaller resolution. Then I converted it to GIF, then I split GIF to frames, each frame was single JPEG file, then I used my own software to convert JPEGs in format TFT SPI library needs. I will share I will share my software with you very soon, but right now it looks like a mess. This is a second version of software. So here is the results. Less than 6 seconds of low resolution video. So how to display longer videos? Can we use external memory? This is for example M5 Stack Core 2. This development board has built-in memory card slot. So I try to save large amount of images on my SD card and show them, but it was too slow. Another way is maybe to use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to download each frame and then delete it to free memory. To be honest, I don't know how to do that. So for now my conclusion is that microcontrollers are still not fast enough for showing videos. Maybe I'm wrong, I'm not sure. But the video also has a sound, which is another problem. Microprocessor boards like Raspberry Pi are a much better solution for this task. I think we will need to wait a bit more. Maybe one day development board like this will be able to show YouTube videos directly from YouTube server. 
Until then you can play with this sketch, code is in the description. Don't forget to set 8 megabytes in Arduino IDE before uploading. Because this sketch is really big and it compiles very long. It is simple sketch with, with only few lines of code, but there is lots of data in these header files. I hope you learned something from this video, or at least you had fun. Thank you for your time, have a nice day, and goodbye.